Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. So uh, we are in this devastating uh, pandemic situation and I pray that everyone is safe and we return to the normal as early as possible. Okay, so uh, moving to this video, we are going to look about how to interrupt the COVID-19 report. Okay, it might be helpful for you, uh, you know, in clinically or it might be sometimes it might be as, as an MCQ um, in the upcoming examinations. So anyways, so I will give you a list of investigations which are taken for uh, COVID-19 to detect the COVID-19 and I will tell you what are the scores and how to interrupt that. So if you look at the list of things, so first we are going to uh, definitely the gold standard RT-PCR and then CT chest to be specific uh, HRCT. High resolution computer tomography where you are also going to see the CORAX scores and then the C reactive proteins and the interleukin 6 to detect the severity of inflammation, severity of the inflammation, and in addition to that, we are going to look about the D dimers, the neutrophil to lymphocyte ratio. And the antibody test. Okay, now uh, basically these are all the investigations which are usually taken. And coming to RT PCR, it basically detects the viral load. So if you are having low score, then you are having an high viral load. Okay, so if if you look at the scores, if you are having a score of around 17 to 24 you are having I viral load you are having I viral load if you are having a score of 24 to 35 you are having moderate viral load if the score is more than 35 then mild viral load so lower the score higher the viral load so coming to CT severity score so if you look at CT uh, HRCT so if the score is less than 8, then this, the severity is mild. If the score is 9 to 15, then it is moderate. If the score is more than 15, then that is severe. If you look at the CORAD score, you know, it is the level of, uh, you know, the suspicion, how, how, uh, how much you are uh, suspicious to COVID-19. So if you look at the CORAD score, there are 6 Corat scores and if you look at the first one it is no you don't have any viral load the first one uh, is no and Corat scores of 2 gives you a low uh, low uh, uh, suspicion to COVID-19 3 is intermediate 4 is high 5 is very high and 6 is uh, you know uh, it is also very high with PCR positive okay with PCR positive okay so as I said there are six levels of corrects and these are all the various scores and what are the interpretation of these scores okay so next coming to C reactive protein so C reactive proteins and interleukin 6 they both or they, they both are going to detect the severity of inflammation Okay, they both are going to detect the severity of inflammation and if you look at C-reactive proteins, they are measured in milligrams per dl and interleukin, uh, interleukin 6, if you see, they are measured in micrograms per ml. Okay, so if you look at the C-reactive proteins, uh, any values of uh, uh, 0 to 6 is normal. Values of less than 26 is mild. And values of 26 to 100 is going to be moderate. And anything more than 100 is severe. Okay. So if you look at interleukin 6, interleukin 6, any values of 0 to 7, it is going to be normal. Uh, any values of less than 15, it's going to be mild. 
any values between 15 to 100 it is moderate and also uh, 100 to 500 micrograms per ml it is severe and one more thing one more value is if you are having more than 500 micrograms per ml of interleukin 6 then that is critical okay so both these C-reactive proteins and interleukin-6, they detect a severe inflammation and these are all the scores and the interpretations of interleukin-6 as well as the C-reactive proteins. Next one is the D-dimers. D-dimers, they are measured in uh, micrograms per ml. Okay. So if you look at D-dimers, any values of less than 0.5, it is normal any value of less than 1 is mild and if it is more than 1 then that is moderate to severe okay and <clears throat> the neutrophil lymphocyte ratio so if you look at the neutrophil lymphocyte ratio uh, any values of less than 3.5 then that is mild if it is more than 3.5 then that is moderate to severe this is the neutrophil to lymphocyte ratio. Next one is the ferritin, LDH and ESR. Okay. So if you look at the ferritin, I'll tell you the normal levels. Okay. Let's look at the normal levels. So ferritin, if you see, the normal value is around 13 to 150 nanograms per ml. And the LDH is anywhere between 0 to 250 uh, units per liter. As well as the ESR, if you see, it is 0 to 22 mm per hour. The ESR it is the most non-specific and the last one is antibody test there are two types so either specific where it detects uh, the uh, anti-spike protein uh, 15 which is helpful for the protection or the normal or general antibody test where the SARS-CoV-2 uh, immunoglobulin is detected IgG uh, is detected okay so uh, these are all the basic investigations and their interpretations and the scores okay so i hope this video was helpful and if you find it helpful please share with your friends and uh, if if you get a chance to get vaccinated please get vaccinated and uh, stay home stay safe let's pray this pandemic ends soon so thank you for watching this video uh, we will meet in the next video bye bye